Hello everyone, hi vlog, hi friends. Today is Tuesday, it is one week since I gave birth to sweet little Grace and we are at home, my recovery is going well, she is adjusting super well and so I thought this would be a good time as now we're kinda, you know, settled into as much of a, a routine and a rhythm as you can get with a newborn. I thought it would be a good time to pick up the vlog again and start filming some, some clips here and there. So you might get a peek of a little baby hand in this frame because I am currently breastfeeding her. It is, what time is it, hun? 10.15. 10.15, so we are now like up for good. We slept in between this feeding and her last feeding. She usually feeds about every three hours, but sometimes she'll wake us up like sooner than that. Usually not, she is like, she's feeding super well and she sleeps super well, so usually we have to wake her up, but during the night, you know, we sleep between her feedings. And so now that it is 10 a.m., we are just gonna be up. Also, we got this new recliner that I'll show to you guys later. We actually got it because from the, the C-section recovery, it's really difficult for me to get up off of I'm pretty much most like seated spaces, the couch, the bed, a chair, but because this recliner is electric, it's easier for me to adjust and get comfortable and get up from. So we actually bought this like while I was still in the hospital, Stephen went off to the furniture store and my mom stayed with me and he was like, I need a chair that could be here tomorrow. And oh my gosh, am I so glad he did because this chair has been fantastic. I pretty much hang out in this chair all day and then I am still sleeping in the bed. We weren't sure if I was gonna be able to to right away just because like I said it's really difficult to get up from those positions at this point in my healing but we figured it out and now I'm honestly progressing so much more it it doesn't even really hurt that bad to get up from bed so all right I'm gonna get back to uh just breastfeeding cuddling my baby and uh watching Survivor <laughs> So here's a view of what the living room is looking like. There's the chair that I was just talking about. But then over here we have little baby in the upper baby bassinet. This just stays in the living room because she has the snoo in the bedroom at night. In her little Star Wars PJs. Hi, princess. <laughs> yeah, this has been such a fun and rewarding is the word I use over and over again. Like, yeah, there's like parts that are like hard and things like that, but it's just so rewarding and it is so cool. So I'm loving every second of it. I know things are always changing with the newborns and one day it could be totally different than the other. But as of right now, I would say we have a pretty easy baby. All right, I am gonna take her sleeper off. We're gonna do some skin to skin. And then while I do that, if you wanna shower, cause we will just be content sitting like that as long as, yeah. as, long as we need. No, I, yeah. Totally. Cool. So Steven is out on the couch holding Grace and I am going to attempt to take a shower on my own. I've taken two showers since giving birth and both of those showers Steven has had to help me because my mobility was just so limited at those points in my recovery that like I needed help moving around. I couldn't pick up my shampoo and stuff, but I am feeling really good, really sturdy and stable. And so I'm gonna just try to take the shower by myself. And if I start getting in a lot of pain or I need help, Steven is right out there on the couch and he'll just put Grace in the bassinet and come help me. But I think I'll be able to do it by myself. So let's see how it goes. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> ow, ow, laughing hurts. Laughing still hurts. It just feels so nice to be regaining more of my independence like day by day and oh, it feels good to be showered. All right, I got some clean clothes on here. Nice and comfy, put some product in my hair. And now I'm gonna head into baby girl's nursery and pick out her clothes for the day. It's her first outing. I know we're just going to the pediatrician, but like, you know, I'm gonna pack a little diaper bag and we have to get her dressed. So it's, it's a fun thing. I'm really excited. And it's also just nice to have more of my mobility and independence back so that I can do this on my own. So we'll head into the nursery. I actually packed up a diaper bag last night. Cause like I said, I'm like weirdly, I'm weirdly excited to take her out of the house for the first time. And I realized I have no idea what's supposed to go in a diaper bag. So after some Googling, I feel like I have way more in here than we'll need, but you know what? First time mom things, we have diapers, wipes, changing pad, burp cloth, extra onesie, some socks, nipple shields, breast pads. So that will be coming with us. And then for, for her outfit today, ooh, bending to the second drawer is a little bit hard. We'll just do this cute little yellow floral onesie and then probably grab a pair of the little leggings just so that her legs 
are covered. Hey Steven, what time is it? Noon, okay, I'm gonna feed her again. <laughs> I have to say, breastfeeding is one of the coolest and strangest experiences that I've ever had. I feel like I could do a whole vlog just talking about that and, and how it's going, but after an hour or two between feedings, my boobs get like rock hard. Like it literally, it looks and feels like I had a boob job and it gets like painful until, until I nurse again. So not only are we looking at like time between feedings and her hunger cues, but also I feel like my, I feel like Karen from Mean Girls where it's like my breasts can tell when it's raining except my breast can tell when my baby is hungry. <laughs> I love you. I love you. One of my favorite things is just watching Steven with her. You're so, so good with her. It's adorable. Good. Grace, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> So I picked out that little outfit for her this morning and I, I just grabbed like gray leggings for her and I realized I am wearing gray sweatpants and I have a yellow floral shirt that looks kind of similar to her onesie and I I, th I think we have to twin. Like how, how fun is that? I love matching with you, it's so fun. <laughs> it's so fun. You know what's crazy? If you would have told me a week ago after the C-section that I would be able to stand up unassisted and hold my baby. Yeah, what day was that? Wednesday? If we told you Wednesday that this would be happening? I would not have believed it. Well, that's the thing is the recovery, like the, the first day was so hard and the second day was so much easier than the first day and the third day was so much easier than the second day. Yeah. Like it's been a very... Like it, it started really low, but it's been like a steep incline of how how much better I'm getting every day. Yeah. And, and now I, look, I can stand up and hold my I baby. Know. And you know what? I knew that recovery would be much quicker than you were thinking. And I could tell, I, I think at that point, all you needed was kind of the confidence that, hey, yeah. I can keep going day to day and I will just continue to get better. And now I can hold my sweet baby Grace. Yes, I can. Oh, that's a big yawn. Big yawn. I love how all we're doing is going to like a quick pediatrician appointment, but it feels like we're going to Disneyland. Yeah. It's, it's like a whole outing. We're yeah. like planning the whole day around it. The whole day's like, okay, we got four hours. Get ready. <laughs> like my incision doesn't even hurt right now. Standing up and holding her. No, no. I mean, I can tell. It doesn't hurt. Watching you get out of bed for like the past 12 hours, like getting in and out of bed, showering, go to the bathroom. Like everything is not easy, but. Yeah. Oh, another big yawn. Getting to the point where I really can't tell you're in significant pain. Well, I'm not in significant pain right now. Yeah. I'll I think that. if I like tried to bend and put her in the crib, I probably would be. But just standing here holding her in our cute little matching comfy clothes, there's no problem. Oh, you are just so beautiful and I'm gonna love you forever, okay? <laughs> She's so alert right now. We should go, we should go take advantage of the alert time. We can like put her yeah. in the switch. Oh, we should do tummy time. Yeah. That's what we should do because she's super alert right now. You want to do some tummy time? Let's do some tummy time. All right, Steven is getting Grace set in the car seat and then we'll be heading out. But I am a little bit nervous for this car ride just because the car ride home from the hospital was pretty painful for me. The C-section incision is like right below my bikini line. So pretty close to where a seatbelt should hit. And Steven did a wonderful job of driving nice and smooth and slow, but it, it still hurt pretty bad. That being said though, I am in a much different place today than I was three days ago when we came home. So hopefully it's not too bad. <laughs> All right, we are back in the car after the pediatrician appointment. I'm in the back here with Grace and Steven is driving, but everything went well. This was also our first time just meeting Grace's pediatrician, so she seems really great. Everything went well. Grace is doing awesome. The one thing that wasn't so awesome is we, we kind of parked in the wrong spot and we ended up having to make a much longer walk than usual, which included some uphill stuff and also stairs, which this was my first time doing stairs. <laughs> so that caused a little flare up in pain but uh, we're doing okay now. So we're just gonna head home now and she's due to feed again and then we'll just hang out on the couch in the chair, enjoying all of the uh, the chill newborn days and newborn snuggles. All right, so we moved the, the little bassinet over here. Grace is chilling and I am actually pulling up to my computer and I have just been slowly but surely kind of making my way through the birth vlog because I really wanted to edit this myself. So I've just been kind of editing like 10 minutes here, 15 minutes there. It's really fun to go through this footage. It feels like it was a lifetime ago. I can't believe, I can't believe this was only a week ago. And by the time you guys are watching this vlog, the birth vlog will already be up. So I will link that in the description. All right, well, we'll see how much I can knock out of this editing before, I was gonna say before Grace needs me, but honestly, before I need her. I just fed her and then cuddled her on the recliner and I, I bet she'll probably fall asleep in here. She doesn't really cry much. She's a, a very relaxed, laid back baby. And so since I just fed her, she probably wouldn't give me any cues that she needs me for like another two hours, but uh, I will probably start missing her and wanna, wanna hold her and just hang out with her. And that's what's nice about being in a rolly chair is I can just peek over and say, hi, hi baby. 
All right, so it is 8.30 right now. I'm doing some skin to skin with Gracie and Steven is back there in the kitchen cooking up dinner. Hello, handsome husband. Hey! I'm definitely feeling a little bit of like an uptick in pain at the incision site, just from, I think, maybe overdoing it a little bit today. You're talking about our stairs incident? Yes, I did. <laughs> yeah, that was not a good idea. You should have taken the like five extra minutes and like got in the car and just drove up the hill instead of walking and then doing stairs and you know, it's probably not a good idea. But. Well, it's, it's a hard balance of like wanting to, you know, get back to normal, push myself a moderate amount and like overdoing it. And I thought, yeah, I think I thought that was within the realm of my ability, and we didn't need to go back to the car. I think a good uh, starting place would be like walking around the block, just nice <laughs> flat, and come back. <laughs> Oopsies! Oopsies on both of us. We well, we won't let that happen again. But yeah, we're just chilling now, watching some more Survivor, as we pretty much always do. I made some good progress on the birth vlog, and just really enjoyed kind of reliving all of that, going through the footage. Definitely emotional, definitely shed some tears, but yeah, it was fun. So I'm gonna put the camera down and get back to uh, snuggling my, my precious little girl here. You wanna tell the vlog what you just told me? <laughs> I said we should play some Mario Kart tonight online and uh, have a couple of races after this episode of Survivor. And okay. then bedtime? Yeah, well, we probably should be in bed already by now, but. Hey, no parents, no rules. Yeah, no parents, no rules. Well, I mean, I guess and we're now, the parents. Now we're the parents, we make the rules. <laughs> <laughs> and the rules are Mario Kart all night long. Mario Kart for an hour. <laughs> all right, babe, come and get her. Oh, we put the bassinet next to me though, so I can peek in and and look at her. And this bass net that came with our strollers. This has been amazing. I didn't know how much we'd use it since we have the snoo in the bedroom, but it's so great having it out here since Which we spend most nice of the day out here. Like more portable that we can kind of throw around wherever. Okay. Mommy's gotta go kick daddy's butt in Mario Kart, so <laughs> go put you down. All right, chill out there, girl. I hope we don't get copyrighted for the Mario Kart music playing in the background. <laughs> All right, update, I am feeding Grace again one more time and then we are gonna go to bed. And by go to bed, I mean set an alarm to wake up again in like three hours, but kind of start our night of just broken up sleep segments. Also, I I cannot lie, Steven totally kicked my butt at Mario Kart, but to be fair, it has been a hot minute since we've played, so I'm just a little bit rusty, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, we'll see you again whenever we feel like vlogging. Bye. Bye.